Alrighty, we have a 14 here, American Wire Base, and we have a net for a lighting circuit. We have number 12 here on a 20 amp circuit for some outlets. We are going to put, we have a 20 here for the light outlet circuit. And we're going to put a 15 amp breaker here in for the lighting circuit because you put 14 gauge wire on a 15 amp and 12 on a 20 amp. 14 is a minimum wire gauge you can use in a house. So we'll strip these wires and we'll hook these two circuits up. Okay, this box is kind of messy from the previous person that wired it, so I can't get the wires in the way I really like to, but I'm going to bring our ground wire down. And we're going to go into our ground bar right here. Oops, do you have another flathead I could use? Because mine. Alright. Oops, that's a little bit too narrow now. Oh, there's a. Oh, that's a good one right there. Okay. Alright, so. There's my black. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Down wire in under the terminal here. All right, we have plenty of terminals, so it's best to put one wire to a terminal. You're allowed to put two of the same gauge ground wires in one terminal, but only one white wire to each terminal. Okay, so we'll take our white wire, we'll push it over to the side here, we'll bring it down. I'd like to be able to remember all this stuff right here. I can. over to our side here, bend it over, So you don't get your insulation caught under the uh, terminal there. Watching a video of a guy, home inspector in Arizona, and uh, because they don't have winter or any of that stuff, they don't use copper. They use aluminum wire. Okay, now. And he says the, the, now we can put our because of the heat, the coatings. Our black wire 
over onto the breaker, so we'll push it over to our side. We'll bring it down and we'll bring it over. We'll bend it over to where we go to our breaker. We'll cut it right Is that 15 amp off? Mm, now it is, yes. Good with a hole that matches the wire size we're using. Maybe I'll be able to use my own screwdriver, maybe not. I'll try it. Yes, I will be able to. Okay, so we'll put our black wire under the 15 amp breaker. Again, 14 is the minimum gauge wire for house wiring. Can you put it on a 15 amp breaker? Or lights only. Well, you can put outlets on 14, but they like 12. But 12 is required in the kitchen. Okay, that is too mangled up, so I'm going to have to use the other one. This one might do it. Well, campers, they use a 14 for outlets. But not going to work them that hard. Okay, now we'll get ready to hook our 20 amp circuit up here. I'll pop the 15 on and I'll start the 20. Okay. You don't hit your cutter with the ground wire. And I keep it away from the box so I don't get a short. So the needle I get be able to go up higher and get my wire meter square cornered in here. But it's a mess, it's a mess, I can't change it. Do you make sure you get all your debris out? Is it all working? All good. Good. Okay, so first we'll get our ground wire and get this out of our way. So I'll push it over to our side here. I'd like to get down behind all this stuff in here. So if you can't, you can't. But you don't frustrate. If it goes, it goes. Good. If it doesn't, you just don't frustrate. Okay, so I got it going down. I'm going to push it over to the side here. It's best I can get it. And we'll bend it over. Take it into our ground terminal. One thing I learned about frustrating is you don't accomplish anything, you know? Okay, now we get our white wire over on the neutral bar. So you can do the same thing, get it down behind all this stuff in here. Push it over the best I can here. Bring it down and we'll go over to this one over here. Which is the wire size we're using. Put it in our empty hole by itself. This is a main panel, so you're allowed to have your grounds and neutrals together on the same bus bar. Now we can put our black one on the breaker. So 
and bring it down, push it over to our side here the best we can. Bend it over where it goes into our break, and we'll cut it right here. The other screw for you. Tighten it. There, okay, got it nice and tight. Get it back out of our way here. Now we'll put on our 20 amp outlet circuit. So, So that is how to wire a, a 15 and a 20 amp circuit into a panel here in the country I was born in. We have 240 coming in and we have single pole breakers which give you 120 volts and the double pole breakers give you a 220, 240. We use a 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. 10 American wire gauge on 30 amps, 8 American wire gauge on 40 amps, 6 American wire gauge on 50 amps. This coming in is 4 aught, and it's a 200 amp panel. And for a 100 amp panel, use number 2 aluminum, and you would have a 100 amp main breaker. Peace. Thanks for watching.